before I do this video again. Let me see. It says live video is starting. All right, what's good, family? So I want to make sure y'all can hear me before I say anything else. Can y'all hear me out there? You know what I mean? I need to see if y'all can hear me. Uh, let's see. You should be able to hear me. One, two, one, two. Look like I got mic levels good. All right. So I'm going to do this video over. I did one, and I'm going to do it again because my sound was doing something crazy. I think it has something to do with the Apollo twin and all that kind of stuff. But today, what I'm doing right now is I'm giving the flowers to my friends who have just passed away, who some of y'all know, and some of y'all are friends with them as well. I haven't really seen a lot of information about them, but I want to talk about them a little bit and definitely talk about their catalog and how they play, you know, instrumental roles in my life. And I know y'all have stories about how some of them were in your lives. You can hear me, Watkins? You can hear me good? All right, come on, phone. Cut off. What's up with your homeboy? I just want to make sure y'all can hear me good out there. All right, so first thing I, first thing I want to talk about, text me let me know you can hear me first. Let me see if, if y'all can hear me, then I'll keep going. I think y'all can, because I'm seeing the levels over there jumping. All right, so first person I want to talk about is LaShawn Daniels songwriter he's he's partners with Rodney Jerkins and which y'all might know as Dark Child Fugees we met over there by Weekway Park in Newark one day and um his and upon his introduction he literally popped the trunk and gave us Air Force Ones somebody had gave them a bunch of sneakers to promote or wear or whatever. And he was like, here, you want a pair? Here, you want a pair? You want a pair? And we like, yeah, free Air Force Ones, no doubt. So we started laughing and talking about our music from that point on. But we've been cool from that point on. And it's been it's been real good. I saw him again out in uh, Miami when they were working on Michael Jackson's album, him and uh, Rodney Jerkins and Teddy Riley. And my ex uh, sung background on the album, Mary Brown. So I was out there with her and just chilling and chilling with everybody. It was a beautiful thing. But let me just go down a list of my man so y'all can understand his body of work, all right? Now, LaShawn Daniels, he did Brandy, Top the Short Shot, Crazy Song. It affected your life just the way it affected mine. So that's what, that's what this is. Brandy and Monica, The Boy Is Mine. Come on. That's a classic. The boy is mine. Whitney Houston, it's not right, but it's okay. You know, that was a banger. Uh, Brandy, Angel in Disguise, Jennifer Lopez, If You Had My Love, So Plush featuring Ja Rule, Destiny Child, Say My Name, Say My Name. Come on, y'all. Classic. Classic. Spice Girls. Tony Braxton, he wasn't man enough. Come on, you know that's a classic. Brandy, Never Say Never. Whitney Houston and George Michael, if I told you that. Classic. All right, Michael Jackson, Privacy. Michael Jackson, Heartbreaker. Michael Jackson, Invincible, Michael Jackson, Unbreakable, Michael Jackson, Threaten, Monica, All Eyes on Me, Brandy, What About Us, Black, I'm Good, Destiny's Child, Lose Your Breath, Ray J, If I Had One Wish, you know that Ray J classic, What I Need, uh, Kiara, Kiara Shared, Why Me, Sierra featuring 50 Cent, Can't Leave Him Alone, Janet Jackson, Feedback, Natasha Bedingfield, Angel, Joe, ER, Janet Jackson, Love, Lady Gaga and Beyonce, Telephone, Tamar Braxton, Love and War. <sighs> Love and War, Tamar album was popping. All right, Love and War, The One, Tamar Braxton, Hot Sugar, Michael Jackson, Escape, Tamar Braxton, If I Don't Have You, Erica Campbell, You Don't Love God? 
I love God. What's wrong with you? That's his joint. That's his joint. He wrote that. Brandy, Borderline. Oh, man. So that's just a few of his songs that they got on Wikipedia. I'm sure ASCAP or BMI, whichever one he was signed to, got more of his records. But I had to get on here because three amazing friends, songwriter, music people, just passed away, and they didn't say a lot about it. And because I know them, and I know how great their body of work is, and y'all can see just by just just Sean's piece of work that they got online, that this brother has an amazing catalog, and a lot of them songs play big part in our lives. You know what I mean? These these are soundtracks to our lives. So I just wanted to definitely give LaShawn Daniels a big, you know what I mean, salute. And may God be pleased with him. You know what I mean? And may he rest in peace and may his music do what it's supposed to do. Take care of his family. You know what I mean? All right, then I'm going to go over to my brother, Chucky Thompson. Now, Chucky is someone, of course, that was part of the hit makers with Bad Boy. And we uh, worked on a project, Emily King. That was his artist that he assigned. Uh, and we met Chucky. I don't know how we met Chucky. I don't think it was through our lawyer or something. But we had a long relationship with Chucky where we used to go to Maryland all the time and go down and eat crabs and fish with him and all that kind of stuff. And Chucky could play every instrument. This man was amazing. He introduced us one time to uh, Chuck Brown. Chuck Brown is the DC legend. The whole go-go sound came from Chuck Brown. And I remember Chuck telling us a story about how he made more money off Nelly sampling his Bustin' Loose record than he made in his whole career. He said he made over $3 million. And he said he bought a fleet of Cadillacs. <laughs> I was not mad at him. I was like, look, bro, live your best life. He said, yeah, I got what I want, a fleet of Cadillacs, all different colors. I said, wow, now that's a legend for you, right? He want what he want. You know, he passed away. May he rest in peace, too. So Chucky had hits on hits, y'all. Let's go down Chucky's list, okay? Let's 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 go down. Chucky Thompson. Now, y'all y'all ready for this? Get ready for this, right? So, because everybody everybody only giving praise for Big E and the bad boy stuff. Let's let's go in. He did Usher, think of you. Born Jamaicans, kids from foreign. Notorious Big IG. I love it when they call me Big Pop. Pop. Right, hands in the air. Uh, if you the true player. Y'all already know what that is. Mary J. Blige, My Life. He did Total, No One Else. He did Faith Evans, Used to Love Me. Uh, Mariah Carey and Boys the Men. One Sweet Day. He did Brian McKnight on the down low. He did Puff Johnson, All Over Your Face. Shantae Savage, Baby Drive Me Crazy. Soul For Real. Never Felt This Way, Frankie, My Heart Belongs to You, Faith Evans and 112, Caramel Kisses, uh, Mary J. Blige, Time, Notorious B.I.G., Can I Get With You, Ice Cube, featuring Crazy Bone, Until We Until we Rich, Maya, Get Over, Faith Evans, Love Song, Mary J. Blige, Your Child, Nas, Can I Get a One Mic, Can I Get a One Mic. Chucky did that. He killed that. Sean, he did Nas, You Want to Be Me. Nas, Dance. Uh, Lil Mo, Ten Commandments. Now, Lil Mo, let me tell you about Lil Mo. That's my people. Lil Mo was the first person who sent me. I met Lil Mo. We was working on Babyface Artist, Third Storm. Home from Cali. We was all on the same plane. And Mo was sitting next to me. And she was telling me, yo, this is how you got to get paid. For songwriting, you know, because you know they don't pay songwriters. So you got to get paid and your fee should be like this. And bam, bam, bam. She put me on game about the thousands that I should be charging for songwriting. And nobody had told me that. And Lil Mo broke down the game for me. So big shout out to Lil Mo. She helped the brother get to the bag. Bang. So then we got um, Sharifa. No one said. Man, I know Sharifa. Shout out to Sharifa. Chuck Brown, We About the Business. He did a whole album on Chuck Brown. So that whole last album of Chuck Brown, Chucky Thompson, rocked with him on that. Emily King, that's what I was on, East Side Story. Um, Sev One, he did Raheem Devon, Woman, 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 Grammy nominated joint. Um, Let Us See, Everything Changes. You know, Let Us See is dope. Uh, Chuck Brown, We Got This, Leela James, Party All Night, Faith Evans. 
When You Move, Worth It, and Your Lover, and Trouble World. Juvenile, Tales from the Hood, Faith Evans, I Deserve, Neo, Worth It, Dope, Raheem Devon, Buster Rhymes, Your Loss, Fantasia, I didn't even know he did Fantasia, So Blue, Faith Evans, and Notorious B.I.G., Beautiful, in a Lube, uh, who, Craig Mack, just like you, blab, trying to get Craig Mack flame in your ear, I didn't know he did that. Oh, snap. All right, Notorious. All right, TLC, If I Was Your Girlfriend. Wow, Faith Evers, Ain't Nobody, Mary J. Blige, You Bring Me Joy, Pebbles, You Straight From My Heart, Total, Someone Like You, Tevin Campbell, I'll Be There, uh, New Edition, Try Again and Home Again. Wow, Faith Evers. So, hats off, flowers up. Big shout out to Chucky. Y'all see his body of work is bananas. Chucky Thompson got hits. All right. Whew, man. Just thinking of all that work. LaShawn Daniels, Chucky Thompson. Big ups. Now, let me go to the news I heard today. I heard today about my sister, Andrea Martin. I met Andrea Martin because it was on... Lauren's to-do list when we first met uh when we first got with Lauren and before we worked on the album she was scheduled to work on five different projects and one was Andrea Martin, Whitney Houston, Aretha Franklin, Edith Wish, it was a rock band called Edith Wish and it was some other band. I don't know who that fifth person was. Oh CC One is we did that. CC One. So we met Andrea Martin at the at Chung King Studio. Why funny as heck? The company was called Ghetto Ho Productions. <laughs> Ghetto Ho Productions. Yo, we laughed so long about the name of that production company. She was like, "Yo, that's that's it. It is what it is. That's it. Ghetto Ho Productions. That's it." And um, I think I don't know if she was from Jamaica or she lived in Jamaica or something because she had like a heavy accent. But, yo, she's a super dope songwriter, right? And before I go to her credits, I'm going to just tell you that she was one of the real ones. Whenever you spoke to Andrea Martin, she told you the truth and nothing but the truth. And even when it was tough to swallow, even when it was about business or the labels or budgets or whatever was really going on behind the scenes, she was one of those real ones. She was very close to Clyde Davis and Clyde Davis' daughter. So she always had an inside of what was really, really going on. I known her at the time when we met. She was doing, she just finished uh, Angie Stone and she was working on uh, Melanie Fiona. Um, but let's, let's, let's talk about the stuff that most of us don't know. You're the one, you're the one for me. Bow, 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 bow. SWV. She wrote that. She wrote the classic, You're the One. Oh, my God. All right, so look, let's just go. Let's just go down her list. Let's go down her list. It's, woo! Andrea Martin. Okay. Andrea Martin did Monica, Before You Walk Out My Life. All right, y'all know I ain't trying to really sing on here, but I'm singing so y'all understand the melody, so it triggers in your head. That song so you can remember where you was at when you was listening to Monica before you walk out my life. Classic. Classic gets the spin, all right? It's all about you. SWV, you're the one. Oh my gosh. Such a huge classic. We all love we love SWV. You already know. Uh, SWV changed the game. She, they paved the way for all those singers came out that you already know. When it came to hip hop R&B, SWV is the beginning. All right, she did the Braxtons, One Love, Changing Faces. I got somebody else. Lorne, Can't Let Go. Tony Braxton, I love me some him. Oh my gosh, classic. I love me some him. 
Y'all know y'all humming that right now. I love me some him. What? In Vogue, don't let go? That gets the spin. That gets the spin. In Vogue, don't let go? Crazy classic. SWV, it's all about you? Wow. Another level, be alone no more. Room service, stay. Tracy Spencer, song still in my heart. Angie Stone, wish I didn't miss you. Shout out to Angie. I know you're probably going to sneak over here and watch this live because I'm going to tag you anyway. You already know. So, all right. Wish I didn't miss you. Blue Contrell featuring Sean Paul called Breathe. Tom Craft, a song called Loneliness. Lemon Jelly, Make Things Right. Nelly, she did Nelly's song, Fly Away. Angie Stone, I Wasn't Kidding. RBD, song called Wanna Play. Leona Lewis, Better in Time. Melanie Fiona, Give It To Me Right. Melanie Fiona, It Kills Me. I think that was a good song, too. Sean Kingston, Face Drop. Leela James, Tell Me. Andrea Martin, she was a singer herself. She had an album herself. She had a song called America. Fantasia, Lose to Win. Wow. You know that was a... I get a spin. Fantasia have these certain records that just cut through like... And that was just one of them. I'm telling you. Um, what's that? Naughty Boy featuring Wiz Khalifa. Think about it. Jennifer Hudson, I Still Love You. So... These are some of the records that they got online. But, of course, if you go to ASCAP or BMI, you're going to see a lot more records that these writers and producers wrote. I think that it's important we know who these people are. I know these people, and a lot of other people that's in the industry know who these people are, and they know them personally. But the world needs to know who they are because they're not here. And they just disappeared off the earth. You know, God called them back. But their music is still here. So as a fellow songwriter and friend of theirs, I got to represent and let the world know that, yo, these are my peoples and they wrote some hits. Don't forget about them. They go in the books too. When you think about legends, we always think about all of the people that was here before we got here. But it's some legendary people that grew up with us and now they're not here. You know what I'm saying? But they've done some legendary work, and not just in music, in life, within the community, in films, in everything. You know what I'm saying? But we got a, we got a man. I tell you, you hear them, you see them songs. Them list of songs is serious. And uh, the one thing I want to say, when you think about not just them, but the people doing music today, we got to go back to the essence, to the essence of it all, basically. When you think about the Tim I can sing. They were singing because somebody else told them they had a gift and had a talent that could actually change their life. They could make money that could change their life for themselves, for their children, for their mama and pop, for cousins and aunties, and even communities. Communities, the songs change communities. Some of these people, wealth change communities because a lot of these people invest and give back when you don't, you can't even see how they give back. If people knew all the stuff that Prince did, man, it'd be more people talking about Prince. But they don't know because they don't want that. They want, they know God see everything they do, and that's the only thing that matters. You know what I'm saying? They're like, hey, I did it, God saw it, boom, I don't care about nobody else's opinion. And these are people that's from the hood, man. These are all, these are us. This is me and you who God gave that, that melody to. And they created something and it changed their lives. And they created catalogs like this. But they know better. They know less than or greater than. They just like me and you. Who they just have some hits and they have a nice catalog. But just like me and you, we're going to get called back too. You know what I'm saying? But when we get called back, Hopefully somebody will look up our catalog and say, remember this person. Remember Rasheem Kilo Pew. Look at his body of work. That's my boy. Whatever. I hope somebody do that for me. You know what I'm saying? But these are my people, and I'm happy that I got to know each one of them, spend time with them, 
and know their music and bump their music. Their music is just a plus. You know what I'm saying? Them as people, I knew the great individuals. You know what I mean? I'm just like them. I'm their brother too. I'm just another person that they met on their journey, going to where they was going. And that's what we all are right now. We all on this path. And we're meeting each other. If you on my live, if you in my friends list, we on this journey together. I remember you. You remember me. Pay attention to me. I'm paying attention to you. We riding this out. And God going to call all of us back. And then it's up to our next generation to make sure that our legacy lives on. I just wanted to really, really give props to my friends who I don't hear much about. I just heard they died. That was it. That one passed. Oh, I heard this one passed. And then they give, they put their name and put their one hit record that they wrote. They wrote tons of hit records. They wrote hit records you ain't even heard that I ain't even heard. It's probably, it's probably more music sitting on a hard drive at the studio. I know Chucky had hundreds and hundreds of songs. You know what I mean? Andrea, Andrea wrote so many songs, please. That was like her full-time thing. So these people who lived it every single day more than me. She wrote way more songs than me because she wrote more than me. When we started getting money, we started wanting to enjoy some of the money. She still kept going, kept going, kept going, kept going. You know what I mean? Some of these people, they just stay in the studio every day. I was in the studio for so many years that I said, you know what? There's no other thing in this world that I want to do every day. There's nothing that I want to do every day. I want to spend more time living life. I want to spend more time learning about things that I don't know about. I always tell people, when people be like, yo, what you doing out in North Carolina, bro? I tell them, I say, look, when I came to North Carolina, I was just a songwriter. That's what I was. When I came here, that was my gift. That was my skill. But while I've been here, I got an opportunity to learn who I am and learn so many other things. Now I can say I'm way more than just that songwriter because I had a time to actually live life and appreciate life and learn more about me, learn more about other things I didn't know about. So when I leave this earth, I want to be able to say, hey, I tried almost everything I wanted to try. You know what I mean? I ain't just stay in the studio all my life and then die. That's not living life. That was only one part. I realized music is only one tool on this belt. And all my tools got a job to do, create the life that I want for myself. Period. That's just one tool. You know what I mean? So I hope that my brothers and sister who just passed away, was using that music tool and using their other tools as well, living their life. You know what I mean? Because ain't nothing worse than leaving and wishing you did more. You know what I'm saying? Do more right now while you're here, while you got the time, while you got the air in your lungs. And that blood is pumping. Do everything you want to do. Do everything you want to do. Especially things that God is pleased with, of course. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, live your life. And with that, I'm out. Save the arts, live in color. This is your boy, Rasheem Kilo Pew. Salute to my people and may they rest in peace. May God be pleased with them. Peace.